go. Hi, I'm Nora Young. I'm the host of Spark on CBC Radio, and I'm here at the From Now conference in beautiful Vancouver. Uh, I just gave this talk about uh, the digital city and the future of our networked environment with little bits of computational power dispersed in our environment around us. And some of the things that really excite me about um, this digital city is the possibility that if we get it right, it can not only be more sustainable and more um, environmentally efficient, but that we can use it as a source of play, that we can use it to kind of almost prank our environment to create fun opportunities for surprise and delight. Um, I'm really interested in the idea that we can use distributed digital technologies as a way of getting to know each other a little, a little better, encouraging opportunities for empathy, for shared experience, um, and that we can use it to make our cities more beautiful, to connect the natural environment and the technological environment a little bit. But it doesn't come without its risks and dangers. So one of the things obviously that people worry about with this dispersed technology is that we're going to end up with a surveillance society. And I think that that Big Brother idea is uh, potentially a problem. But I also think another problem is if we're just monitoring everything we do and we're being these responsible citizens who get plenty of exercise and eat right, uh, is there's a sort of worry that we become this kind of over-monitored, performing, gym-going uh, kind of self rather than a self that um, delights in the environment and um, occasionally in a big fun city gets up to no good. Uh, so that's a thing that I find worrisome. I also find it worrisome that as we move into this world where we have this digital information that surrounds us, do we end up in our own little informational bubbles? You know, just as I can look at my phone now and be following my Twitter stream and not really paying attention to what's going on around me, when I can kind of curate the digital information around me, do, am I at a risk for sort of essentially being in a different city from you? where we're not sharing the same environment, we are each in our own little techno bubble. And I think the digital city needs to find active ways to counteract that.